Hey what's up guys, it's VK and in this video we're playing some Ark Survival Evolve. We're playing on the Aberration map, it's a new DLC expansion to the game. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of uh, Ark but I haven't done anything on it yet on my channel so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. If you do, smash that like button down below and let me know what you think about it. I am wearing a Santa hat because of course we are close to Christmas and in the holiday spirit you gotta dress to impress. Oh. Oh, you guys actually didn't see that. That's great. I'm also using a new recording software. I'm using OBS. Before this, I used Shadowplay. And I just got a Steam notification. And I noticed that you guys weren't seeing it. So I was like, impressed. And yes, again, 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 dressed to impress, right? Uh, we, uh, we spawned on the Edge 4, which is one of the harder spawns. It's not going to be the easiest. I do have a little bit of playtime on this map already on the easier spawns. Because I'm a nub. I am a nub at the game. I'm not the biggest PvPer. This again, this is a PvE server. It's a private server. If you guys do want some some access, let me know because we are letting a few lucky people on it. Uh, currently, there's only one subscriber on it. That's Thibaut, uh, who is a friend of the admin Lucas. So there you go. Now you know. The more you know, the better. Uh, we spawn again in the H4, and we need to get to the water uh, because this is not the easiest place to be. We're gonna collect some berries. Hopefully, that will keep us alive for a little while. I hope we don't encounter anything. There are a couple new dinos in Aberration as well. Uh, so I hope we encounter some of those, at least the bulb dogs, because they're amazing. And I would really like to show them to you guys. They're the best pets in the game. They kind of like the Dodos or, or Jerboas or Dimorphodons or previous Ark titles or Ark maps in general. Um, but they're, they're cool, they're cool. They've got this little lantern, they've got some charge. And I'm not sure what the charge is about yet, but I'm assuming that somehow you can power things with it. <laughs> that's that's what I'm assuming. Uh, I hope you could uh, you can easily do that just by uh, plugging in a battery in their butthole or something. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm just running around right now, uh, trying to collect some berries. I'm also going to be making some tools right now, but I don't know exactly where to go because I don't know where the water is. So we're just going to do our best here. All right. Uh, there's some stone. Take the stone. Take the stone. Mine. All right. Let's let's craft some stuff. Sorry for the intermission, guys. Uh, again, new uh, recording software. I must have messed something up. Uh, but let's continue over here. Again, we're going to be starting to craft some picks. I, I literally noticed that it, that it went wrong, and uh, luckily I didn't craft anything yet. So you guys can still get to see this beautiful blue screen in front of you because I know everybody likes to see that. Uh, we've already got a bunch of levels. Uh, mainly because I, I played before and I, uh, I use a mind wipe, so there you go. But I'm not really going to be using anything. I'll be keeping around 80 at all times, just to kind of make the playthrough a little bit realistic. <laughs> uh, put them on health and stamina, probably double up on movement speed because that's going to be useful in the long run. We have got a pickaxe now, so let's equip that. Boom, there we go. Now let's get going on some flint. Boom! Beautiful. And now we should be able to unlock... I probably... I might actually already have it. Nope, I don't. I get... Oh yeah, mind wipe. Obviously, if you use a mind wipe tonic, you forget about everything. And my silly ass thought that I would be forgetting only the uh, the levels. The engram levels. But obviously that also means that the engrams are gone. Uh, we're going to make a campfire already. Wow, we're doing good for ourselves already. Make some clothes. Because clothes are... Oh, wow, dude. Why did I make a cloth hat? No. No. Stop it! Stop it! I don't want it! Oh, fuck this. No. I don't want you. I want these. These are what I want. These are the clothes that I want to wear. Boom. Put it on. Now you. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, these are kind of like new trees. Um, just so you know. Uh, you hit him, bam, gives you some thatch, gives you some fungal wood, which is the new wood in the expansion. Not sure why they added new wood, but, you know, it's a little bit of immersion. They also give you mushrooms, as you can see. I'm already encumbered, wow. Um, yeah, well, the annoying thing is I'm going to have this level up constantly. So you know what I'm going to do? Bulk it up. Bulk it up. Don't let this be a problem. Not at all. This will not be a problem. And if you're going to say, why didn't you make a new character? Well, I'm currently in a tribe, and I'm the tribe leader, so if I make a new character, I think that does some weird funky shit to the tribe, and I don't want to do that. 
So let's just put it all wait and let's just continue with that. Um, yeah, again, these are the new trees. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about them is that, what, what, maybe you can already see it. No, you can't see it yet. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, let's actually equip this. Uh, when you get to, we have a stack mod, and when you get to a certain amount, it stacks it. I believe it's a hundred or a thousand, and, uh, I think it's a thousand, actually. Uh, and as you can see here, the fungal wood is not a part of the stacking mod because it's a new item and it hasn't been added yet, so it stacks it in a hundred. But what the mod technically does, it also lowers the weight of the items, and uh, it doesn't do that with fungal wood, so your weight goes up pretty quickly. So it's probably good that I buffed up my weight that high. Uh, it's going to be good because this is a boosted server. It's a little bit boosted. Uh, everything's a little bit faster, which is good. Just going to like collect some of this stuff. Uh, ooh, what, was, what were you over there? What are you? What are you? You look dangerous. But you're a parasaur, aren't you? Yeah, I can kill you. Murder! What level are you? Oh wow! Uh, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna bother that. I'm not gonna go after level sixty. Oh, mole rat! Hi, buddy. I like you. <gasps> a bulb dog. All right. Let's let's see. Oh, uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. I think it's aquatic. I believe. Yeah. Let's go. Let's see. So you have to put aquatic uh, mushrooms in your inventory. Yep. There you go. And they have to feed him. See? Again, taming on this level on this server is uh, quite boosted. We're still figuring everything out. So yeah, this is our new friend. Boom. Yeah, would you look at him? You're a pretty little fella, aren't ya? You're a pretty little fella. Yeah. A lot of people have been calling these the lantern pugs, but I'm just I'm just gonna go with bulb dogs. I mean, it's a good enough name. <laughs> so let's just go with that. It's good enough. All right. What? A little bit of a lag spike. I hope you guys didn't really see that too much. I'm not sure why. Probably just my internet. Rather than the server, because the server is a bay. The server is a bay. It's a great server. But I have been having some some connection issues as of late. So there you go. That's probably what you guys are seeing, maybe. I hope it's not too bad. I'll, I'll lower my settings maybe in a little bit. I normally don't have it, but I don't know. Something with the ISP of, as of late. It's probably net neutrality. Who knows? Even though I'm not American. If anyone is wondering, I am Belgian. Oh, you are going to the- Oh my god! It's Steve! Steve's murdering us! No, Steve! No, Steve! We were friends once. It's Steve. Steve the lifeguard. It's our girl. It's Raptor. Why did we spawn hard? This is not where I want to be. What? How did my bulb- What? What? I mean- it's tripping. It's tripping. This game is tripping. <laughs> what? Another one? Oh my god! Why are you doing this? Oh, I knew that wouldn't work. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that it would like slide me onto one of the trees. Oh, uh, well that sucks. Um, I'm still gonna spawn hard though. I'm still gonna spawn hard. Because that's just who I am. Also, because in this map, not sure if you guys have found this out yet, if, if anyone is playing this map, but the easy spawns seem to be harder than the hard spawns. Oh, I lost my hat. Well, nothing that a little bit of admin abuse can't do. <laughs> Let's just wait for, for, for the mod menu to load up, as you can see at the top. Boom. A boom. A boom. A boom. A boom. Start up. Complete. Now we do shift F1. If it'll let me. Shift right click. Hot! There you go. And now we do Santa. Santa hat! Boom! Unstoppable. Well, it is a ramshackle cloth hat for some reason, but alright, we'll take it. <laughs> Don't we look beautiful? Beautiful! Oh, uh, if you're wondering why I've got pink uh, hair, I dyed it before I mind wiped, and uh, I want to keep it pink. Pink's the color, pink's the brand! Let's keep it that. Oh my god, there's a raptor over there, so I'm just gonna collect my berries and just scoot out of here. It's probably the same thing over here, because normally there are raptors on this side, from what I have noticed. Oh, nothing? Seriously? This is safe? Is this a safe area? Alright. 
All right. I mean, if this is safe, this could be a good place to consider a temp base. If we can get some water access going, because that's all the way down there. This would... Uh, well, actually, we'll, we'll try to scoot down there. Uh, some way. <laughs> some way, eventually, we'll figure it out. Boom, 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 boom. You're my wood now. Get your own wood. I need stones. Are you a stone? No, you're too big. You're not a stone either, I know that. Uh, there's no stones here. That is horrible. Like, it's an area covered in stones. And it is literally impossible to find some stones. I mean, this one right there looks perfect for a pickaxe. Okay, maybe not. But this one, perfect. Maybe this one, but definitely not that one. I'm just going to stay in first person for now. You guys should let me know if you prefer to see it first person or a third person. Uh, because I honestly don't know. I, I prefer playing like this, right? Because that, that way you can like kind of like PUBG peek, do a little bit, boom. Whoa, what, what are you doing up there? Oh, I saw that. You're just sneaking up on me. But uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can do it in first person. So I'll keep it in first person because I think that that's the normal point of view for most people. Uh, but it is a little bit harder. Hard. It's super hard. We need to find some stone. It is vital to the mission. Could we? Could we survive this? Uh, you know what? Balls to the wall! Hey, little one! How are you doing? Okay, this is gonna drop me. It, it's gonna drop me, isn't it? Can I? Can I? If I think I should be able to... No! No! It's not good! I knew it! Ah, uh, it's supposed to... If, if, you, if I could stop there, it would've worked. It would've worked. Don't bungee jump, kids! It's not safe. Don't bungee jump without a rope either. It's it's not it's it's harder. Just believe me, it's harder. Um, hmm. Maybe we should consider a new spawn. All right, we'll, we'll take the portal because that's what it's saying. It's the easiest, but I'll show you why it's not the easiest. Bam! Oh my god, it's it's massive. It's beautiful. So the problem is, um, if you're in this area and you run around a little bit and you go a little bit further, you eventually just come up to a point where it, you either walk inwards to find ravagers and raptors, or cardinals, or you walk to the river where you'll literally only find sarcos, spinos, and crab creatures. I'm not sure on their name yet because I, I haven't been getting close to them. They're pretty dangerous, and I don't want to die. <laughs> boom, boom. Give me that wood. So I feel like most of this... Most of this episode is just going to be me collecting wood and not even considering a base. Uh, because I need to find a location. It's all about location. Location, location, location. And, um, yeah, this is a hard mop again, so it's like... I mean, if I look down now, you'd be like, oh, there's a stego, there's a parasaur, it's, it's pretty safe, right? Next to the water, pretty nice little area. And uh, if you go down there and then you start building something, ten minutes later, there's a spino at your door. That is how this map works, but I do want to get down here. It does seem like a good area. I do want to get down there. Like, I want to risk it for a biscuit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know. It, <sighs> this hasn't been working out for me, but you know what? Risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, yeah, that hurt. That hurt a lot. That... Jumping in this game is so horrid. Come on. Come on. Drop me some stuff. Drop me some stuff. Give it to me. Drop me some more stuff. I need it. Drop me some stuff, oh, or earthquake gods. <laughs> it's so amazing. So this is the earthquake, and every, every once in a while it happens. I'm not sure on the timing. But uh, it basically just drops stuff from... The weirdest of places. So it comes out of walls, it comes out of the trees, and I don't know um, how they decide that, but it's the weirdest of places. And uh, yeah, no, this is just a cool thing. You can find some cool stuff. Maybe like you're in an area where you're not finding a lot of those uh, green gems or, or, or blue gems, etc. I'll, I'll show you them a little bit later if I can find some. But uh, yeah, if you're not and they drop out of the sky, I mean, it's, it's, it's a god gift, I'm just saying. 
Um, I'm going to want to get over. Oh fuck me! This is gonna kill me. Yep, I knew it. Ah, anger. I, I, I'm not one of those people. I don't want to run around for six years to to get down there. That's not me. I wanna I wanna risk it for a biscuit, but. This map without flyers is incredibly hard because it's a lot of cliffs and a lot of dangerous areas. All right, so we're back here. We're back here at the David Station. I think we went. Did we went? We went that way. I think. We'll try to get over there again. We'll, we'll collect some. Oh, you gotta watch out with these red ones. All right, these red ones they uh, induce um, kind of like hallucinations. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm doubting if I should show you or not. There we go. Oh my god! What's that? What's this? Oh my god! Oh, I'm having a bad trip. I should have eaten those mushrooms. They're pretty bad. <laughs> so as you can see, it's, it's pretty dangerous. And uh, if you do that twice, you're you're dead. You're just there's no question. There you're dead. <coughs> so that's a uh, it's. it's it's not pretty good. It's not a good idea to do that. Yeah, I want to get down here. What's the safest way to do that? Maybe. Mm. See, this this is my mind. My mind's like, oh, let's go there and then jump down there and die. But I know that just that jump is probably already gonna kill me. I feel like the fall damage in this game is ridiculous. Oh, Scorpiones! They want me dead. I mean, everything wants me dead. Even my mother. <laughs> oh, what? A rock Drake? What? <gasps> no! Oh, what? Magic? I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take this. <laughs> this is good. Uh, this is this is this is wanted. So my idea here is if we can if we can put a foundation right like around, along this area. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> uh, let's take my stuff. Yeah. Where did my actual... That's So that's gone. I mean, that's good, I guess. So if we, if, we, if we put a foundation right here and we block this off, then that would prevent us from getting killed over there. I think this area is unlikely to get to something for, for, to come through here. I mean, words, they're really hard, okay? And uh, then we'd have this nice little area to ourselves, kind of what blocked off. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that because I'm not sure if you can build near these structures. I don't think so. But we'll have to find some rocks and, and then we'll have to figure that out. Hello, Stego. You're my friend, aren't you? I mean, I want to be your friend. If you want to be my friend, let's be friends for life. So here's the problem of this map, essentially, right? So out of the earthquake, there comes stuff. And that's good. You get, some, you get a lot of stuff. But... If you have to find the stuff, it often gets pretty hard. Like, for example, right now, I'm trying to collect rocks, and they normally spawn right next to the river bedding. But as you can see, I've been walking around for quite a bit now, and you just don't find any. It's just, they're, not, they're not here. They don't exist. They're not real. And that, that's, it's kind of like BS, because if you look around, you can see that the entire river bedding is covered in stones. It's covered. But yet none of them work functional. And, and that's really annoying. Oh, that's a Ravager. I don't want to go over there. Oh, a, a Beehive. That's good. That's good. This is a good location. So I'm actually going to do... I don't know. I don't know. Alright, guys. I'm going to end this part here. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment to tell me what you liked. But I'm going to end it here. And then the next episode is going to go up tomorrow. And it's going to be us building the base. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next video. Slow ride, just you in that baseline. We're way past sunshine, believe in the magic.